Green and black letters on a white background. Zero Project Awardee 2021, United States. Department of Labor, SEED. Government level initiative to promote inclusive employment policies. What is SEED about? Nadia Mossberg. The US Department of Labor's Office of Disability Employment Policy created the State Exchange on Employment and Disability to help states and local policymakers implement inclusive workforce development policies that address barriers and improve opportunities for all individuals. SEED works with leading intermediate organizations whose members are state and local government representatives to ensure policymakers have the tools and resources they need to develop and implement grassroots level policy that advances the employment success of people with disabilities. SEED develops and disseminates member-driven resources designed to meet state distinct needs. How does SEED work? The program's funding source is 100% federal, none of which generates income. income. What is unique and innovative about SEED? SEED is unique. The only federal, state, and local government collaborative that focuses on inclusivity and universally designed policy. The SEED model is responsive and flexible, which lends itself to great innovation and helping improve the quality of opportunity for life and life for all Americans. What is next for SEED? Given the impact of COVID-19 on work in the workforce, as well as the changing nature of work and the workforce, SEED will continue to support its partners as well as policymakers in developing and implementing inclusive workforce policies that take into account our nation's civil rights <laughs> legislation and policies. How did this solution help you? I'm Senator John Hoffman from Minnesota. SEED has proven an important policy resource for creating equity and accessibility for everyone. Understanding how to meet individuals and legislators and helping them is one of their greatest gifts. You know, SEED was tracking the work I was doing on equity for people with disabilities right here in Minnesota within our state agencies. They noted articles in the local Star Tribune and reached out to my Senate office to provide assistance free of charge. Zero Project for a world without barriers.